welcome back to the channel, Bob here. And today I've got a really cool watch for all the car guys and car gals out there. We have a watch in from a relatively new company, the Marchand Watch Company. And the watch we're looking at today is the Debonair. This is a race inspired watch. Really cool one at that. This actually comes in by way of Aaron Dunlap. I believe also Chris Marshall has taken a look at this watch. It's on a bit of a tour. Afterwards, it's heading off to uh, Scott from Watches Galore as well as Peter Von Panda. So let's spin the camera around, take a closer look at the Debonair. All right, so the watch comes in this nice little case here, and I love these style of watch boxes with that little cutout for your watch. Keeps your watch nice and protected. The watch also comes with a nice little write-up of the company story. Uh, this here is the great-grandfather of the founder of the company. He was a watchmaker and inventor. He started working uh, in watchmaking back in the 30s in Switzerland. The founder of the company, on the other hand, Daniel, he was actually into racing. He was a race car driver and worked in racing for a few, few years. So he combined the two passions and we have the debonair. The first nod to racing you're going to see right away is obviously that three-spoke steering wheel, which is raised above the dial. I believe it is made from aluminum. If you're not into cars, this might be a deal breaker right away for you guys. For those that are into cars, obviously not so much. But the other little nod to racing is the chaptering, which is white all the way around, except for from 10 to 12, mimicking a car's tachometer. Not sure if you can make that out, you guys are not here, but uh, we have accents of orange on the second hand and framing the date window at four which is super small by the way I don't mind the size looks wise but it is a little hard to see at 12 we have the Marchand logo printed with debonair just below that the numerals are a cool vintage font and I like how they used the zero in front of the one through nine just gives the watch some nice symmetry one little surprise for me with this watch, and I wasn't even thinking about it when I first uh, was looking at this watch, was the loom. So let's take a look at that. And it's pretty bright. Love those loomed numerals. And they're using C3 Super Lumin uh, Luminova, by the way. Like I said, I didn't really think about the loom when I first wore the watch. I came inside from a pretty sunny day, and there was a nice little day glow, so I checked it out. And, and here we go. We have some fantastic loom here. The watch itself comes in at 43 millimeters. We have hidden lugs here with an opening uh, for straps for 20 millimeters. And I'll show you that a little bit more here in a minute. Seems to stand a little taller on the wrist due to the integrated lugs, but the thickness is actually just under 11 millimeters. The water resistance is 100 meters and the watch operates on a Ronda 785 quartz. The case is wrapped in an orange aluminum case ring. The rest of the case has some very fine brushwork, especially here on the bezel. We have a signed crown. It's not a screw down crown and the etch work on the case back here is very well done. I can appreciate the work that goes into making the case, especially with how the case back, if you can see here, there's a little seam here here where the case back screws to the case. I also really love how they've machined the uh, the lugs here. They've just done a fantastic job. Some uh, Definitely some engineering gone into that. So the straps that come with the watch, obviously you can see it's a quick release strap. There's two versions you can order. There's the larger hole rally style strap we have here. Then there's a strap with smaller holes as well. Still very sporty looking strap. I think I prefer the other version. You can check that out on their site and the the uh, link will be in the description below the quality seems pretty good on this one nice orange stitch work and a solid uh, solid buckle and tang this one thing that i really like about the uh, buckle here is the tang a lot of these uh, a lot of tangs sort of flip flop around all over the place this one's nice and sturdy and just drops straight into that little uh, spot there straight into its place doesn't seem like much, but I really like that. So enough tang talk, let's take a look on wrist. All right, guys, so the way this sits on wrist is very different than any watch I've ever owned with that kind of hockey puck style uh, case design. 
Just how the strap connects to the case at the case back versus the lugs, it sits pretty high on the wrist for the thickness, so it's just something to keep in mind if you're considering one. So overall, the build quality is there for sure, and a lot of thought went into the design, so if you're into cars, it's definitely a fun option. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As usual, I have a blast putting these together for you guys. Before I let you go, though, just a couple of things. With the holidays just around the corner, I have some family coming in town. I'm actually renovating my basement right now, so it's really busy around here. I do tr I plan to try to get a couple of more videos out between now and the holidays. I have uh, one particular watch review that I want to uh, get out to you guys as well. I'm taking a road trip to Columbus, Ohio, just a little couple of day uh, trip, but I'm going to see my favorite hockey team. I'm a huge hockey fan. Go Leafs, go. Going to see the Leafs take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. And I may try to put together a little mini vlog of that trip as well. That being said, it's very unpredictable around the holidays. So if I don't get to those videos, just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, have a great holiday and a Happy New Year. And I also want to thank you guys. This year has been a blast. I've had a, a great time meeting a bunch of different people through the YouTube channel. It's been so much fun. So thanks guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.